Welcome to Lagging Out. Here are your hosts, Funny Guy, Chieftain, and Zombie Killer. Welcome to Lagging Out. I'm your host, Funny Guy. If you're watching us here on Twitch.tv on the Lagging Out channel, thanks for tuning in on this uh, glorious summer, just after the summer solstice, Saturday evening. We are a little day early. I'm only picking out the day because it gives Chieftain something to do when he's editing the show. Uh, it already says pre-recorded in the bottom left hand, right hand corner, so I'm good. Yeah, that's okay. Does it say pre-recorded on the? On the I, I changed it. Yeah, <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> Folks, you're watching lagging out. I'm your host, Funny Guy. This is my co-host, Chieftain. We're here with Moabiti and our other co-host, the lovely Willie Raven, sitting in for Zombie Killer. How is everybody tonight? Yeah, we're awesome, dude. How are you doing? More importantly. Uh, I'm all right after being told some interesting stuff before the show. I'm a little <laughs> ball of fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I wanted to light a fire on you but before the show. So I think that was to get get the fire going and uh, yeah. funny guy. So I like we're that. Kind of wrong. I'm just obliging your blatant attempt at trying to manipulate my emotions. Yeah. I, I'm good at manipulating people's emotions. I'm, 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 I'm just uh, I'm playing into it. I'm doing it on purpose. I was well aware of it. <laughs> which is true, and and I and everything I said, which you're not going to hear on the air, and that's the cool part because they're going to wonder what we're talking about. But lots of good things are happening for lagging out. Let's Some talk about the positive things. stuff. Well, like I said, we got here. lots of good, good, interesting things going on. So, you beat me to the button. Well, yeah, I thought you were gonna, thought you were gonna do that tonight. <laughs> I am going to, but you beat me to the button. Folks, you're watching Lagging Out on Twitch.tv. We are brought to you by Gamer Gloves. You want to wear what the pros wear? Do your hands get sweaty? Are you tired of wiping them on your jeans and your jeans get all dirty? Get yourself a pair of Gamer Gloves. Go to thegamergloves.com. Use the coupon code Lagging Out. That's L-A-G-G-I-N-O-U-T. And save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. F-U on posting at .com, the only social, social media outlet around where you can post whatever you want without censorship. Check out FUOnPostingIt.com. Also, a quick shout out to ex-boss players, run by the one and only Blue Polar. She's Welch, not English. Check out their group today. They gave us a big shout out on their group page and we really appreciate it. So go ahead, uh, Raven. Uh, Fierce Gaming Females. They support all gamers on platforms. Make sure you go like their Facebook at Fierce Gaming Females or on their group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot Chicks with Sticks, how'd you go wrong? Hot chicks with sticks. Hot by chicks with sticks. That, that sounds like. Did I coin that? Did I coin that? You phrase? coined that phrase two shows ago. That yeah, could be a trivia really. question later. Look out, watch out later. It might be a trivia question. That'd be a good. That'd be good on a T-shirt, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. We we want a percentage. Fierce gaming feed. I wear it. FGF, FGF into his house. Also, big thanks to Grip Dog, our announcer, who announced us in today. And uh, watch out for his Transformers review. He's currently watching it now. And watch out for that like on either Monday or Tuesday. So what's up, say Griff? And what's up, Griff? And what's up, Black Russian? Black Russian gave us a weird shout out. I don't know if anyone yeah, saw it. Yeah, it was very funny. Page. I watched it. It was really it's good. Like, it, it, looks, it looks like it was done in a Cold War. Yeah. <laughs> so, good. yeah. He, he, he wants to come on the show, so I think we should oblige that. And now, gaming news with Funny Guy. Apparently, uh, the Destiny beta hit the Xbox and the, the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. In late uh, July. It's supposed to be in late July. This is uh, according to IGN. I don't know. Does it says here Moabeth's supposed to? Don't read that. Oh. <laughs> it's in parentheses. I know. Have you read? Have you ever read a script? Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> No, he writes them. He doesn't read them. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I write them. He doesn't go over them until 30 minutes before the show starts. No, I go over them before that, actually. <laughs> it's my secret. Destiny is set to enter beta on Xbox One and Xbox 360 late in July, according to a new trailer for the game. Originally spotted by Video Gamer, the date shown on the slate uh, at the end of the video 
currently viewable via the Xbox One dashboard, and uh, you do need to have Xbox Live Gold, I might add, to see that. Uh, but uh, the PlayStation version requires you to play PlayStation Plus. I don't know where this sentence is going. Uh, either way, you access to either version will requires you to have pre-ordered it, so in order to see the trailer, you not only have to be a member of Xbox Live Gold and the PS4 network, but you have to have pre-ordered it as well. Or the PS4 network. That's a lot of stuff to have had to done to watch a trailer. In order to see this trailer that we're talking about, you have to have pre-ordered the game already, and you have to be either an Xbox Live Gold or a PS uh, Plus uh, member. Yeah, that's right. What, yeah, that's right. So you can't see it on YouTube. You're not going to see it here on Twitch.tv, but you heard about it on Lagging Out here at Twitch.tv right, you heard it and on YouTube or you know, Google Hangouts. You know, I don't really TV is on. I really don't get excited about a lot of games. I'm kind of like kind of tongue in cheek on stuff, but I'm pretty freaking psyched about this game. To me, it's from the creators who actually created the original Halo. I just, to me, like every time I look at it, it's like it kind of looks like Spartans. It kind of looks like that, but it kind of doesn't. It's its own, and it looks so freaking awesome. I want to get it. If you ever see the trailer, I've seen stills, and from the stills, it looks good. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just cracking up because we're talking about. <laughs> I, I agree with you. I, 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 no, please no, I want to know what I'm you're laughing, laughing about. I am laughing at the whole idea of the fact that not only do I have to have pre the game, like I've already got to laid out some dough for the game. I, in addition, I got to be a paid subscribe member and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, I don't have any, <laughs> any of that. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, wow, like, I've already, just to see the trailer, i got to lay out, like, what, like, 60, 70 bucks? What do you <laughs> it's funny to me. I, it, any, anytime you have to repurchase material, it really ticks me off. Like, when they, they put out a game on a particular system, and then they want to make a, or, or they, they re-release the, the game with downloadable content that was originally only downloadable content, but now it's actually a part of the game. I'm not going to shell out more money for a game... I that's the kind of crap happen. I'm talking about. That's sort of what I'm talking about. I just think it's funny it's, that... It's, it's, I, it's, it's totally unnecessary. The game, I'm with you. I think it's going to be a cool game, and I, I'm kind of with you. It reminds me a little bit of Halo. Uh, <laughs> but it just cracks me up that, like, basically I, I have to have shelled out about 90 bucks in order to see the trailer we're talking about. So if you are one of those people out there that spent that 90 bucks... Lag it out wants to hear from you. I want you to go to our Facebook page. Right? <laughs> For real. If you're watching the show or watching this on YouTube and or the replay, I want you to give, and you have pre ordered the game. Go watch the trailer for us. Let us know on our Facebook page and maybe you can come on and do the review what you think how the game is gonna be. Yeah, I I like I I love the look of the game. So I like that look because I'm a lighting nerd, I'm a tech nerd, like animation nerd. So I, I love all that. I love all that like sci-fi stuff. I love I love how it looks. So from time to time, we have a special guest, uh, another guest host, sit in. We have a rotating bevy of lovely and talented, attractive uh, cosplay and video gaming females for your viewing pleasure here on uh, Lagging Out. And uh, so without further ado, we have the Lily Raven review. Tonight is going to be the start of a three-part series on a preview of the new Batman game called uh, Gotham Knight. Um, but before I get into that, I would like to quickly reach out to our audience here and mention that Lagging Out is, is we are going to start doing a benefit uh, for breast cancer research. Uh, we're going to be doing some auction stuff. Um, we're going to be collecting over the next month donations. Um, stuff like that, uh, and then um, in the month of October, we're going to start be doing auctions so we can raise money for this for this cause. Um, you know, if you're interested in donating or getting involved, please go ahead and um, and email me at lilyjraven at gmail dot com, or you can get a hold of us on Lagging Out Facebook. Um, you know, and I would love to send, send a special thank you to a friend of mine, Jeremy Forshee, who has gone way out of his way to help connect us with 
a lot of amazing, talented people who want to donate and help. Um, now, let's get on to the Raven review of Gotham Knight, the newest in the Batman series of the video games, if that's okay with everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That was awesome. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. We appreciate it. And thanks to Velocity Gaming, too. Yes, thank you for the, the Velocity Gaming for uh, having a little talk with us this weekend. Uh, we've got some exciting things coming up here in Lagan Out. It's going to be great. Thing about this game is that originally it was set to be released this summer, or and I'm sorry, not this summer, this Christmas. However, it has been pushed back to summer 2015. Rocksteady has come out and said, you know, we understand that. Uh, uh, <laughs> we understand that we may have been a little more disappointed with the last couple of games, but we are going out of our way to make sure that this is the best Batman game ever. And from everything I have seen so far, they are definitely going to live up to that promise. The map is humongous. The artwork is incredible. It's The artwork is an amazing combination of all three games, uh, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, and um, Arkham Origins. It's incredible. Um, also, I'd like to point out with the gameplay that there is not going to be any sort of cutscenes. Um, it's all going to be real time, and uh, Rocksteady has put out a release that everything that they did from E3 to the uh, to the trailers that they've been doing is as close, like it's it is pretty much going to be on a call to gameplay, which is incredible. Um, now, some of the things that I've been noticing as I've been scanning the maps. Um, you know, the first thing I want to point out is that uh, that there is the clock tower, the Oracle's watchtower. Um, if you look closely in a couple of different places, you can see that there's actually a door that enters into the clock tower, which leads me to believe that for the first time in the Batman series, you will be able to interact with the Oracle, and the Oracle will actually be Barbara Gordon as the Oracle. Um, also. Uh, you see things like there's actually the bridge over to Arkham Asylum, which, um, you know, based on what I've been reading, um, Arkham Asylum may be uh, where you actually go to get the Riddler content, which was exciting in the first two games, but in Arkham Origins was left out. Um, Riddler, the Riddler challenges will be back, and I firmly believe that a lot of them will be centered around the Asylum. Another thing that I have noticed, which is which is really exciting, because there's if you if you look through all the notes that they put out, they're going out of their way not to mention the Joker. However, Harley Quinn, she is a playable character. If you pre-order the game, uh, Ace Chemicals, which is where the Joker got his start, is is clearly uh, noted in many of the trailers, um, and it, it, it just and it. Uh, I was spoke, speaking to Moab, and he said that the new voice of the Joker, the man who took over for Mark Hamill, his name is uh, is um, evading me at the moment. But Troy was, Baker. Thank you, Troy Baker. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, he was we pay Moab. Um, however, even though the Joker will be involved in this game, it does look like the Scarecrow is going to be the main bad guy, main antagonist, as opposed to the Joker, which is exciting. Um, Something I've, or another thing I've noticed here a lot is um, the the henchmen that you're facing. They are more dressed uh, to match the Joker or the Knight in general, um, and the, the henchmen are actually going to be armed with nerve toxin. Unfortunately, I've been unable to determine whether or not the the nerve toxin is going to um, affect your gameplay in any way, shape, or form. Um, I know that. Before, when you were introduced to Nerve Toxin, you were taken away to a cutscene where you were fighting with the Scarecrow. I've seen footage of um, Two-Face and Penguin, which leads me to believe that I, you know, it's it's not going to be exactly in the in the timeline. It's it's um, the timeline that Arkham City and Arkham uh, Arkham Asylum already have established, because as we know. Arkham City, Two-Face was neutralized, the Penguin has been neutralized, and obviously the Joker was neutralized. We do drive the Batmobile. This is something I know every forum I have visited has been clamoring for. I can't believe that the Bat, that like in Arkham Origins, you know, the Bat plane, you were unable to control it. It was a cutscene. Um, also, the great part about this map is it is fully destructible. 
Um, you anything you see, storefront windows, lamp posts, um, you know, mailboxes, anything that you're seeing, you can pretty much destroy. I, do, I mean, you can't take it down the whole building, but you can do damage to your entire environment, which. You know, obviously Batman, is, his whole thing is, is trying to save his city and not destroy his city, but it is nice to see a little bit of realism added here. Um, and another thing I want to mention is just the insane level of detail in the graphics. Uh, got here a picture of the Scarecrow. Uh, they have redone the Scarecrow. He looks completely different, uh, kind of a mix between the, the old Scarecrow and the Crypt Keeper. But, I mean, it, it, it's... It's so exciting. Everything that Rocksteady is coming forward with for this new game, it just has me so excited. I am so foaming at the mouth. I was completely disappointed to hear that they pushed back the release date. However, in pushing back the release date, they are promising us an amazing game. This is definitely one worth waiting for. And that's only the first part of a three-part series about the new Batman game. So, from that being said, Moab, are you? Would you? Are you? Does it pique your interest at all? It does actually. And as she was talking, I was showing the trailers and stuff at E3 and st in the corner of the screen, so everyone could kind of have an idea what she's talking about. If you've never heard of the Batman Arkham series, I recommend going out and buying the first one and going and playing all the way through. They're all good, all the way from Asylum. I think I don't remember the order. Lily could probably help in the order. Is it Asylum and then City and then Origins that they came out in? Yeah, it was Asylum, City, and then Origins. And Origins was actually put out by Not Rocksteady, which um, a lot of people will complain because the first two, uh, the um, they're all good. good. I played them too. The yeah. First two, and then on the third one. Yeah, I'm actually right now it's showing the vehicle combat it was when the Batmobile just changes into the, the tank. Cool. And it, yeah, and it just how you can jet out, glide, jump out, and go wherever you want, and it makes me think the, if you the, can't the fly. The level of detail that they went into on everything. Because uh, in Batman, I, I don't know if a lot of you remember, is like the first game that, or really superhero game that I actually really wanted to play just because of the fact. I say it was the first superhero game that made you feel like you were playing a superhero. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's actually how I go for that. Uh, there was one good one back in the yeah, day on Sega that was a side scroller that was pretty good too. But um, I mean, when you talk about by today's standards, uh, yeah, I have to say they're, they're actually some of the best games in terms of a single player experience that I've played in quite some time. Uh, I look forward to each rendition, and you know, I've enjoyed all of them. So now I, I'd rather play Catwoman and. Because it's in third person, I'd rather see her ass in Batman's cape in the game. So if they turn that to an option, that's something I would I would like to give a suggestion to if I can. I, I think if we made a game and just called it Sex, you would buy it. Yeah, yeah. well, well, yeah, but I mean, don't cut Catwoman, super uh -oh. tight clothing and a whip. Come on, dude. Well, no, you can play as Catwoman in one of them, can't you? Yes. I yes. didn't pay. I didn't pay for it, but you could. You had, of course, you had to pay. Oh, you, oh, you gotta pay for it. Yeah. It was it was downloadable content if you pre-ordered to be able to play as Catwoman. <laughs> I yeah, have a I thing for it. Laura Croft and Catwoman. Those are my two. So Croft, yeah, I'll take Laura Croft. Okay. Yeah, Laura Croft's kind of a badass. You know, like Raven kind of looks like her a little bit to me, like in the face. You know, and uh, so. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I'm your dream woman. Whatever. Um, I wouldn't go that far, sweetheart. <laughs> Lethal Migraine Chat said I can be Robin. I don't think I'd want to be Robin. <laughs> Robin? See, what was it Robin or Nightwing? See, the, this is where the two... No, see, Robin... Oh, wow, my voice is cracked. Wow, I'm back at 11 going through puberty. Come on, Shaggy, get uh, it out. <laughs> no, but I think Nightwing was the original Batman, or an original Robin, I mean, who like yeah, got out of crazy. Batman. Got out of being with Batman. But I think Robin died. Like, There's like four or five different Robins, and like, all of them died except for two. Yeah, there was a female Robin, and there was yeah, a Robin Dick, that was Dick actually Grayson Batman's son. Was it a Batman Dick, had a son? Dick Grayson, the original Batman. Right, yeah. the original the original Robin became Nightwing, and then yeah. they had a fe they had a female Robin for a while when they killed her off in like three episodes or something like that, and uh, 
I wish I had a soundboard. We had some music we could play because I try and find like Rock and Robin and play that right now. <laughs> there we could we could flash. We could have we could have Moab flash different pictures of the dead Robin. The different dead Robins. <laughs> that that was for Lily Raven. Thanks for la thanks for that last week, Raven. You really saved me with a uh, funny guy with that suggestion. That's right. What? <laughs> Saves what? You remember, you remember your reaction to that last week, uh, two weeks ago, funny guy? Speaking of old games. <laughs> Moving on. Wow, he's not even going to touch that. He's not even going to give you the ammo, Raven. I no. don't really know. I, he knows I, better. He knows I'll better than the best right now. It's, it's right. okay. I've got something in the works for you, funny guy. It, it's coming. Don't worry. Does oh. <laughs> it involve pasties? <laughs> on you, maybe. Oh. You know, taking my likeness and doing something crazy with some animated GIF. GIF? Make me, make me internet famous. And and animated good. GIF. Is that like the vlog? Well, do you, you yeah. remember how I jokingly used to say <laughs> bikini contest between me and funny guy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to win this one. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm being double teamed. I don't even I don't <laughs> remember. I have, Freezing. I have. Freezing. <laughs> Mo Moab's not even coming to help. He's just sitting in the no, dark. No, he's not. Fuck you, Moab. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. No one can see him. He's trying to hide. I'm, right, I'm going to throw your ass under the bus. You ready for this, viewers? Twitch land, YouTube, Google land. Look at look at my boy Moab over there. Hold on, I got control there. Let me do a little. Yeah, something. just throw him on the screen. See, the, see this kid? His nickname is Shaggy. Before the show, <laughs> I made a comment about Casey Kasem having passed, and that we all moved up one here on Wagon Out in the industry. Sad. Casey Kasem, radio broadcaster, very legendary. You know, um, we yeah, all know who he is. We all grew up listening to him, and. Uh, Shaggy over there. Let me click on his picture again, just in case you're wondering, because he really does look like Shaggy. Let me let me make that very clear. He's even wearing a green shirt for us tonight, folks. I mean, Zoinks. are you kidding me? Zoinks, jinkies, really? And tan pants, just so and you guys tan know. pants. And Shaggy, my man, over here tonight, did not realize that Casey Kasem was the voice of the very nickname that he has. But that's okay. Well, funny guy, what do you expect from a guy who doesn't like Star Wars or Star Trek? He he likes. Well, what did you like? I'm a said? Stargate fan. I he likes Stargate. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, you're one of them Stargate nerds. Okay, I get it. That's cool. Yeah, Stargate. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I'm not I, saying I hate the others. I just I watch them, but I prefer Stargate. <laughs> right. That's because I think your generation didn't grow up with the whole is Darth Vader Luke's dad for, like, a good part of my adolescence was spent, like, discussing that with friends. So, so it's time yeah. for the Lagging Out Loot giveaway. This year, our prize package just keeps getting larger. We give it away towards the end of the year, usually right around Thanksgiving. And all you have to do is answer our trivia question correctly on our Facebook page. Now, what do you win? First of all, you got to watch our show uh, to find out what our trivia question is. And then uh, wait for it to pop up on our Facebook page on Lagging Out and be the first one to answer the question correctly. The first person to answer the question correctly gets entered into a drawing for the Lagging Out Loot giveaway. Now, uh, it's brought to you by Game Insight, uh, Narrate, and Gamer Gloves. What's in the Lagging Out Loot giveaway? I'm going to tell you a little bit. First of all, we've got a uh, the February issue of Game Informer uh, with Evolve on the cover, autographed by the entire studio of Turtle Rock Studios. We have a pair of Gamer Gloves, an Xbox Live card uh, for $49.99, a signed South by Southwest lanyard by myself and Chieftain, T-shirts. Let's just say that right now, you're going to win close to $500 worth of really cool stuff. So, last week's trivia question, uh, what uh, game did we discuss in episode 209? And the answer was Watch Dogs. This week's trivia question, who did the voice of Shaggy? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you scared me. I, like, froze for a second. You scared the crap out of me. I know. I loved it. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse J won our now last one. Now, you're probably going to have to watch... Oh, Jesse J won our, our last one. Um, so, 
uh, no, you can't win a sleepover at Lily's house. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that, that's really not up for grabs. No, sorry, no. guys. Unless no. you're teased in. No. You can win a sleep out in your own backyard. No campers. Yeah. That's a prize I could. I hate campers. I hate campers. However, 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 you will. There will be opportunity to win signed pictures of me. So. There wow. you go. See, there awesome. you go. And some posters. There you go. Can All I right. Have one for this free? week's trivia. What convention did Chieftain talk about on the last show? So if you're watching this show in a rerun. You're going to have to go back and watch the last show. Was it A, Akon, B, E3, C, PAX, or D, Comic-Con? Even though I don't think we put the multiple choices up there. on the Yeah, page. they are. They're on page two. Oh, you do put them on there? Okay. No, on the Facebook page. Oh, on the Facebook page? Yeah, um, it'll be posted. It'll be The multiple choice will be there. Okay. So yeah. when you answer that qu first person to answer that question correctly gets entered in a drawing to win all that cool stuff. And uh, don't forget our sponsors, Gamer Gloves at thegamergloves.com. Use the coupon code lagging out and save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. Should I just close this out for us? I don't know. Is it time to go? I want to thank uh, Lily Raven for stopping in tonight. Thank you very much. Your review was awesome. Yep. No, She's going to be on the next two times, too. too. You'll be and on the next episode more. as well? All right, good. She'll be tied for appearances. Well, no, with probably her. not not directly, but I'll be around. And uh, let's not forget, we've got the breast cancer auction coming up. And and please contact me if you're interested in donating or being a part of it. Again, my email is lilyjraven at gmail dot com. Uh, information will also be available on Lagging Out Facebook. And it probably in post will be available at the bottom of the screen. Right. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Right here. This is where. This is where Chieftain will have to make the graphic. All right, you want to take us home? Sure. On behalf of Zombie Killer, Moa BD, Funny Guy, Lily Raven, and myself, we'd like to thank you for watching Landon Lagging Out. And until next time, game over, man. Game over.